Hello boys and girls, I can't wait to start this value icicle project. Now, what you will need for this project is a pencil, coloring supplies such as your markers, crayons, and color pencils. It's very helpful for the value part if you have a variety of light and dark colors. Also, construction paper of your choosing, scissors, and stick glue. Now, for an added bonus, if you want to bring in any glitter or any gems to give it that winter mystical feeling, definitely do that. So, boys and girls, with this project, when we first do the value, some of us might make oopses, so that's why it's always great to make extra icicles, and of course, there's always going to be extra paper. Now, with our icicles, we want to make sure that they have that hill. We want to make sure it does not look wavy. Again, we want to make sure that there's no points, only on the top. And of course, we want to make sure that they're not too thin, where they look like candy canes, and not too thick, where they look like lumps of ice. I'm going to be using a marker, so that way you can see better, but I want you to use a pencil. So first we are going to be making the base of our icicle. So at the bottom left hand corner, you're going to put three fingers together. You're going to put a dot on one side and a dot on the other. Next, see how we have our two dots? So we're going to take our fing pointer finger and we're going to move up in the middle of those two dots. You're going to stop where you want your icicle to end. Where you made that dot, you're just going to make an upside down V. From that V, you are going to be making some hilly lines. We want to make sure these hilly lines are big and they do not have to be even. Again, if you look, there are no points. We do not want it to look like this. That's a wavy line. We want to make very loose hilly lines. After when you get that done, you're going to do two fingers and then two fingers dot, then your three fingers again. After that, you're going to move your pointer finger and place a dot where you want that ice cool to end at. Again, it could be short, it could be super tall. It's gonna look really cool if you do a variety of different heights. After that, I'm gonna do my upside down V. Again, I wanna make big hills, big hills. You're gonna keep on doing that until you reach six. If you wanna have more icicles, that's totally fine. And with your artwork, if you want to move your paper around to get more space, definitely do that. So we're going to keep on doing that. If you want to, you can add a little twist to the end if you want to make an extra point or more detail, you can. And you can add, make it pointy at the top, you can add some type of little curve. And of course, if you need extra paper to make more, don't be afraid to ask. It's always great to make more just in case you make an oops. All right, so I made my icicles. I have about seven and that's perfectly fine because just in case I make an oops. Now, when we make our sections, we want to make sure they're big and not too tiny because that's going to be really hard once we add our value. So what usually helps me is using two fingers or one finger. Again, it depends on how much work you want to do. And you're going to put dots on the edge. 
again, very tiny dots. Once you are done with that, we're going to make some curves going on a diagonal up. This will make our artwork look more 3D. So again, we want to curve it in diagonal. Notice you want to make sure it connects to the other side or else your icicles are going to break. Now I'm going to do one that if you just did a straight diagonal line. It looks more like a striped sock. It looks more like a candy cane. So again, I'm going to do two or one fingers and you're going to curve. The more curvy that you're doing, the more realistic. But again, we want to make sure it has that even spacing. You're going to do that with all of your icicles. After that, you are going to trace with marker. Now, what's really cool with this one, you can use any color marker. If you want to make it rainbow, definitely do it. If you want to make it black, you can just make it plain black. If you want to do any holiday colors, definitely do that. So again, once you are done with all of your icicles, then trace. After that, erase any pencil marks. But again, we want to make sure there's a curve, not the straight line. Once you are finished with that, erase your pencil lines. After that, get out your coloring supplies. For the value part, you can use crayon or color pencil. It is very helpful when you have light shades and dark shades of a color. So for example, if I have red, that will be my darkest value, and I could use pink as my lightest value. So boys and girls, here is one of our icicles. Now the key thing, in the middle, right here, we want it to be white. We want it to be the area where the light source is hitting. So if you look at my example, it's going to be white throughout the straight up. What usually helps me is starting in the middle. All right. And if you are really afraid of messing up this part, very lightly in pencil, I would just draw a tiny little X, meaning, hey, don't color that part. Just a nice little reminder. All right. Now when we do this, you're going to take your crayon or color pencil. You're going to take the darkest color. So for example, I'm going to be using green. Starting on the edge, again, you're going to start on the edge, not in the middle because that X tells you no. You're going to color hard, side to side, again, side to side. Do I color right here? Nope. Again, you're going to color side to side. And if you go off the pencil lines, oops, see, making sure I'm getting all those white places to the point I crack my crayon. Now if you look, this line is not super straight. That's what we want. We actually want it to be messy on the edges. After that, I'm going to take my color that's lighter than that color we just used. So if I use green, I'm going to use light green. So I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my green and I'm going to color side to side. And again we want to make sure this is not a straight line. That will show that it's rounded. So if you look we have our lightish color, which is our light source, and then it slowly goes to the darkest value. Now, what's nice about starting this off with the axis, it gives you a guide of what to do next. So again, if my darkest shade is right here, I'll use that color. Now, you can use the same color throughout, or if you do want to spice things up, you can add different colors to it. So let me go in my crayon box and it works the same with your color pencils. Alright, so I'm going to use my darkest color. Do I put it right here? 
No, because that's the lightest. I'm going to color hard side to side. And again, matching it up. It does get kind of tricky when it starts the curve. But again, you want to follow what you just colored with the first section you did. And next, I'm going to line up. I want to make sure we start in the middle. And again, if you look, coloring it side to side. So again, you could see that my lights are next to my lights, my darks are next to my darks. All right, boys and girls, I can't wait to see your art projects. Once you are done doing all your icicles, you're going to cut out your icicles and construct your art project. Can't wait to see your work. Have a wonderful day.